guys, Dr. Michelle here from Atlantic Physical Therapy. Uh, I'm still isolating. We're about a month into the quarantine and I recently got a request um, to do a shorter video for posture. So I'm going to take you guys through a typical exercise program um, that I might do in a clinic for someone with kind of a rounded shoulder forward head posture, maybe someone who sits at a desk and types all day and tends to like slouch as the day goes on. So I'm going to take you through some exercises here. Um, these are, these are great if you're having any kind of upper neck pain or mid back pain, um, to get a little bit stronger there. So the things that would be ideal to have would be, um, some bands, like I use TheraBands in the clinic and I'm gonna use them today in this video. Um, but if you don't have bands, no big deal. Just do the same exercises without the bands. Just do more repetitions until you feel fatigued. Um, with any exercise, how you know you're doing the right amount of reps is that the last like two or three of each activity um, should be pretty uh, challenging for you. So. With bands, it adds more resistance, but if you're doing some of these exercises without bands, just add on to reps until you feel like you can't do many more. And that's how you know you're at the right place. All right, so um, one I like to start with are just basic shoulder rolls. So if you're sitting at your desk and you can do these you know, at your desk, but um, you can also do them standing. It doesn't really matter what position you're in. So let's start with just some simple shoulder rolls to warm up the shoulder and neck complex. So you're gonna just make big circles, draw your shoulders up to your ears, then pull back down through your back and roll like that. Try to really exaggerate the motion here. We're gonna do 20 of these. So we're about four in, that's five, six, Seven. That down and back part is the key here. We're really working our scapular stabilizer muscles. Scapula is the medical term for shoulder blade. So the muscles that stabilize your shoulder blades that sit on your back and um, pull your shoulders back. So let's do about 10 more. 10, 9, 8, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, now that we're warmed up, let's do some neck stretches. So the first one we're gonna do is for our levator scap. This is my cat, you'll see her come in and out of our videos. Um, and it's to stretch the muscle that goes behind your neck and connects to your upper shoulder blade that's responsible for shrugging up your, well, your upper trap is responsible for shrugging up your shoulder, but it, it's responsible for elevating your scapula. It elevates your scapula, levator scapula. I think it all makes sense. So to stretch that muscle, you're gonna turn your head slightly to the side and drop it down. So you're kind of pointing your nose towards your opposite knee of the side you're stretching. And you're gonna let your head get really heavy here. Gravity does the work. So if you don't feel any kind of stretch, you can place one of your hands on top of your head. So it's better to place the side that you're not stretching on top of your head. And the other arm can just hang down by your side. So if you're looking at this video, I'm stretching the right side of my neck, the opposite direction. And you can play with the angle too. Look down to the right, look down to the left, and you should feel it along your neck into your shoulder blade. So we're gonna hold that 10 seconds and then come up. We'll do five on this side and then five on the other side. So this, part, this hand is optional. I like to just hang. I feel a good stretch already. And try to you know, sit nice and tall with this one, not slouch. So only our head is dropping down. The rest of our body isn't slouching. Good. 
back to the middle. Let's do three more. And this is one of the more common muscles that when people like roll over or sleep wrong, they tend to tweak and get pain in. So it's a nice one to do if you have experienced that before, if you've woken up with a stiff neck. Good. Last two. Closer. My cat's stretching while we're stretching. She's definitely not used to me being home this much, so she's really enjoying it. Um, so we did all the stretches for the right side of our neck. Let's switch to the left side of our neck. So I'm gonna turn my head and look down at my knee and let my head drop. Easy, medium. Never wanna to pull too hard um, when you're stretching your neck. Just let gravity do most of the work. In general, when you stretch on a scale of zero to 10, 10 being a really intense stretch, like you're gonna tear a muscle and zero being you don't feel anything at all, you're gonna be at a, about a five. Second holds five times on this side. So that was our second one. Again, I always like to say it's almost like you're smelling your armpit here. You smell your armpit stretch. And it gets this whole side of your neck. Good, we got two left. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking to me, a lot of patients have been talking to me about new pains they've experienced um, when setting up their new workstations at home and how they're not really used to working in certain positions for a really long time. Maybe they had a standing desk at their regular job, but don't have one at work. Um, so we've been doing a lot of modifications of workstations at home. If you see behind me, I have my laptop on a random box that preps, that I, that's my standing desk station because I never have worked from home before uh, last week. So there's different ways to modify things and sometimes you have to play with things at your house. All right, so the next exercise we're gonna do is a stretch for your upper trapezius muscle. That is the muscle that shrugs your shoulder up. And to stretch that, we're just going to drop our head to one side. We're going to make sure that our shoulders aren't height, that they're down. Arms can be rested by your side. You can do these standing as well. We're going to do the same count with this. We're just going to do 10 second holds five times. If you don't feel enough of a stretch, you can use your opposite arm to just put very gentle, light pressure on your head to deepen that stretch. We're gonna hold for 10 seconds and do five on each side. That feels really nice, especially for someone who slouches a lot, has a stiff neck or carries a lot of things that are heavy. And you should be feeling it on the opposite side as a stretch. If you feel anything sharp, or on the side that you're that you're not stretching, don't go as far into the movement. Stay in a pain-free range. You want that good stretchy sensation here and not any pain. Good, we're gonna do two more. 10 second holds, five times. Last one. And I'm just alternating between using my hand and not using my hand. But even when I do use my hand, it's really like I let my hand just sit on my head and not actually pull it down. Because the weight of my hand is enough to give me just a gentle stretch. Good. Same thing, other side. And I like to do all the same side at once. Why? Because you're like working into the stretch a little bit more. So you're just picking up where you left off. 
you know, I estimate the 10 seconds or so. You can go longer too, anywhere up to a minute if you want. This is number three for 10 seconds. I try to stretch for at least 10 seconds. The longer, the better. Um, most of the evidence is coming back showing. Two more. Good, letting my shoulders sink in. Perfect. And last one. While my cat rolls around and entertains you. Good. All right, back to the middle. Okay, next one I'm gonna do is a scapular retraction. What that is, is a shoulder blade squeeze. So I'm gonna bring my shoulders back and down and squeeze between my shoulder blades here. And at the same time, I'm tucking my chin in and making a double chin, kind of an ugly face. So we're really lengthening the spine here and undoing that forward head rounded shoulder posture. This one we're gonna hold for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and then relax. We're gonna do 20 of these. So chin tuck with the shoulder squeeze, shoulder blade squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. One, two, three, four, five, three, one, two, three, four, five, and relax, four, one, two, three, four, five, and relax, that's five, you should be feeling this really between your shoulder blades and deep in your neck, flex your muscles, one, two, three, four, five, and relax, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. Again, one, two, three, four, five, relax. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. And even though we're not using any resistance here, you should really be feeling this in your shoulder blades. One, two, three, four, five, and relax, that was 10, we've got 10 left. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry for my ugly face, wanna make a double chin. One, two, three, four, five, but it's good for my posture. Again, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Good, last five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Keeping my neck nice and long here, not letting my shoulders creep up. One, two, three, four, five. And last one. One, two, three, four, five. Good, we're gonna build off of that. And next is called No Money. Um, so I'm gonna use a band for this one, but let me show you first how to do it without a band. So you're gonna put your palms up and it's called No Money because it looks like you're begging for change. And you can do this one standing or sitting. So you're gonna put your palms up like that, nice tall posture, chin is a little bit tucked in, and then you're gonna rotate your hands outwards and squeeze between your shoulder blades, holding it for five seconds, and we're gonna do 20 like that. So that's basic, like that, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna grab a band that's in front of me. I'm just using um, a medium resistance band but whatever you have at home will work band-wise. The bands are pretty, this is a huge one because I like to tie it to things, but if you, you know, tighten it up more, that's more resistance. If you keep it on the looser side, it's less resistance. So I'm gonna just wrap the bands around me, palms are up, and I'm gonna pull the band apart, lifting my chest at the same time, keeping my chin tucked in, 
holding it for one, two, three, four, five, and relaxing. This is two, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. My cat's definitely gonna start playing with this band. One, two, three, four, five. It's just a matter of 10 minutes. This is four, one, two, three, four, five. It's hard to talk when you do a chin talk, so excuse my voice. This is five, one, two, three, four, five. Six for one, two, three, four, five. Seven for one, two, three, four, five. Eight for one, two, three, four, five. Nine, one, two, three, four, five. Ten, one, two, three, four, five. Same thing, shoulders are down my back. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five. 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 We've got five left. You should really be feeling this. If not, do a couple extra. One, two, three, four, five. Last four. One, two, three, four, five. Last three. One, two, three, four, five. Last two. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Woo, shake it out. After those last two, you should really feel the area between your shoulder blades kind of burn a little bit and work. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is lie down on a mat. And we're going to do some Supermans and Wonder Womans. Get out of the way. So I'm here on my mat. Just make sure the um, area ahead of you is clear. And let me take off my hat for this one. Okay, so you're going to lie on your belly. And arms need to have enough length to uh, go out in front of you. Lily, get out of the way. Come here. Okay, she's blocking the view. I'm sorry about that. All right. So arms are kind of going to be the V right in front of you, um, like you're going to fly, right? Because we're doing superhero exercises. From here, you're going to tuck your tailbone under, press your pubic bone into the ground or into the mat, and tighten up your abs. So that's going to help protect your low back. You're going to gaze down at the ground, and then you're going to lift up your arms. Legs stay pressed down to the ground. Your toenails are pressed down to the ground. We're going to hold that for five. This is your Superman. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to just do ten like that. Okay? If you have weights at home, you can always hold weights here too. Um, but this should be pretty challenging without weights. So looking down at the ground, pubic bone is down, belly is tight, toenails are pressing down. Just your upper back is lifting. One, two, three, four, five. That's two. Again, one, two, three, four, five. That's three. One, two, three, four, five. That's four. Nice long neck here. Keep a chin tuck as well. One, two, three, four, five. That's five. One, two, three, four, five. That's six. Don't lose the butt. Keep the butt squeezed in, pubic bone down. One, two, three, four, five. Got four more. 
One, two, three, four, five. My cat's using me any, any way that she can get rubbed. One, two, three, four, five. Last three. One, two, three, four, five. Last two. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Rest. Take a break. Maybe wiggle out your low back. Well, that was a Superman. The next one is called a Wonder Woman. And the reason we named it Wonder Woman's is because it's harder than a Superman. <laughs> All right. So bottom part of your body is the same. Butt is tucking under. Pubic bone is driving towards the ground. Feet are pressing into the mat. Arms are in that same position. You're going to lift your arms up, then pull back like you're uh, hovering off the ground or doing like a, a lat pull down, back up and down. We need 20 like that. All right, so fly, pull down, back up and down. You're protecting your low back the entire time by pressing your pubic bone down into the ground and toenails into the ground. All right, so we did two. Let's do three and down, four, and down, five, and down, six, and down, gaze is down towards the ground, seven, and down, eight, and down, nine, and down, ten, and down, Woo! I feel this, ten left, ten, good, nine, good, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. That's burning in the, my upper back. So doing the right thing. Okay, while we're here, let's do a side plank to further work our shoulder stabilizer muscles. Um, we can do this a variety of ways. A beginner one, you can do it on your knees like that. A little bit of harder one, legs are straight, and you're gonna prop yourself up. Okay, so we're gonna do three on each side, holding for 10 seconds. I'm going to do the harder one because I'm strong. Um, but you choose whatever one feels challenging for you. All right, so elbow is under your shoulder. Feet are either stacked or staggered. And we're going to lift up. All right, and hold it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly lower down. All right, number two, going for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower down. People really hate planks. I don't mind them that much. All right, last one on this side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Good. Switch sides. Time for lefty. And you might find that one side is stronger than the other. And we're all a little bit uneven, so nothing to really worry about. All right. Um, again, harder is legs straight. Easier is legs bent. Find whatever's challenging for you. You might start one way and feel like, oh, that's pretty easy. Try to push yourself here. All right, hand on your hip or out in the sky, and we're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, only two left. Not too bad. Too bad. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Good. Just make sure your hips are stacked, your shoulders are stacked, your shoulders over your elbow. All right, last one. Pick yourself up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. And that's one you can always adjust and make harder or easier by holding longer or shorter. So pretty easy there. Okay. Uh, now we're going to transition to some standing exercises. So let me pause the camera for a second and just um, set it up another way. All right. I'm back and I'm standing against the door. I'm going to squat a little bit and I took off my socks so I wouldn't slide away. So butt is against the door, shoulder blades are pressed back into a door or a wall and you're going to set up in a W shape. Do, 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 W. See? Okay. You're going to tuck your chin in and we're going to do some wall angels. So we're going to do 20 of these and elbows are pressing back into the wall. If you have like tight, tight chest muscles and you can't reach it, all the way to the wall, no big deal. Just press as far back as you can. We're gonna do 20 of these. So going up and down in a pain-free motion, trying to keep your elbows against the wall. This one will be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I'm gonna take a little break. This is harder than it looks. You don't need any equipment for this. All right, 10 more. 10, nine, belly stays pulled in tight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. All right, so there you have it. Get down to the camera and see you. Um, there you have it. So that is my posture stabilization routine. Perfect for anyone who's slouching all day. Um, if you have any questions, leave some. Uh, leave it in my comments or direct message me. Um, hope this helps kind of bring your shoulder blades back and make you feel a lot better and less stress and pain in your neck and your upper back. All right, have a great day and happy Passover. Passover starts tonight. Have a good one. Bye.